So, uh, first of all, uh, as you probably can tell, I'm not much of a slide player. I never actually played uh, slide guitar, uh, especially on you know, lap steel. But um, it's something I've always, uh, I've always liked the sound, especially of acoustic uh, lap steel, Weissenborn style guitars. So I thought I would, uh, I thought I'd build myself one, and this is the result. As you can see, it's not six string; it's a four stringer. Uh, reason being was that uh, I mainly play, play four string instruments, uh, like ukuleles and mandolins and banjos and things. So I thought I'd sort of tie in with with that and uh, I just really wanted something to muck about with and, and maybe be able to do a bit of recording with. Um, so I thought I'll just go through quickly what I've actually made. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos you'll re maybe recognize the shape this bit. It's the same as the uh, Bagnola I did. I used the same mold for that and I just extended the neck. And it is uh, the sides. Let me get my angles right here. Are run from there all the way up to the headstock. So it's a box construction. So it's completely hollow the neck as well as the body here. Um, the sides and the top are cherry wood with a birch fingerboard which is this really highly flamed birch it's a really beautiful piece of wood I was given this piece of wood it's actually a leg of an old chair and I've, I've never seen birch with this kind of flame, you know, normally it's maple, but uh, this is it's definitely uh, birch. And I made uh, sort of ghost frets, what you want to call them, markers here, to help me wobble my way around it. And it's just cut very shallow fret grooves, and I mixed glue with. Uh, What's it called? Okra in English. Correct me if I'm wrong. This earth color you use for mixing paints. Mix that in. Brown one. And that's the result. And it's got brass screws that I've cut off as position markers. The uh, headstock. Well, first of all, the tuners are old classical guitar tuners 
with this slotted headstock and another piece of this uh, flamed birch and a strip of oak going down there. The nut is an L profile metal thing going there. And the bridge is cherry wood with some rosewood on top and a tailpiece which I haven't really committed to yet. I think it, it's alright but I would like maybe a trapeze one. So this is a piece of beach and it's not, I haven't even finished it. Uh, it's just been sanded so I could actually make sure it worked first of all. The back, just to save a little bit on, on wood, is a one piece birch back. The construction was fairly simple. I molded the, uh, the sides, went all along here, made a, a box construction in here uh, and glued the top on, glued it back and then glued, you can see where, where the headstock starts, so this is one bit. Uh, I turned the tuners up, so obviously you're mainly playing it in your lap, so it's a way of easily tuning it. Uh, I must say I'm very pleased with the with the sound of it. It's got a nice deep tone, and uh, once I actually learn how to play it, I might be able to produce something worth listening to. So it's my acoustic four string mandel steel so that's it thanks for watching take care bye bye